You're watching a video by Tick. Who the hell do you think he is? It's heavy, I know. Funny enough, I've never actually seen a Back to the Future movie all the way through. I've seen it partly, but not all the way. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. How's this supposed to lead me to Doc, Ainy? Ah, uh, buzzer. Step away from the door. Uh. Now, let me get a look at you. Einstein, come on. Just as I suspected. Hooligans. Get along now. Scat. Can you let me in? I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see. Okay. This one's an easy one. A shoe? Wow, now what would I want with a... Huh? <gasps> Stay there! <laughs> Move along, just hold the shoe here. Leave that creature outside. Sorry, Einstein. Ah. Paranoid much? Well, took you long enough. Um, there's a lot of stairs. To return the shoe, I mean. I lost it ages ago. You can put it down next to the other one. Hmm, much better. So neat and orderly. Nah, I suppose you'll be wanting some sort of reward now. No, I... All I've got is tea and candy. But... I'm sorry I called you a hooligan. I try not to jump to conclusions, but after all, nine out of ten people in this city are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. Uh... Have a seat, Sonny. Hey! You kids! Put out those cigarettes! Jeez. Don't touch those! My newspapers are in pristine condition and meticulously organized. Not about to let some street punk get jam all over them. Okay. Uh, so she's a hoarder, I see. Man, she keeps it hot in here. That's the kettle. I'll be right back with some tea. And don't touch anything! Okay, newspaper, 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 newspaper. Juveniles collide with manure truck. <laughs> nice picture. Okay, guess not. Let's try this one. Brown Mansion destroyed. 1962. No, no, that's not where Doc's stranded. I don't even know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. Okay. Narrow it down to a year, at least. Okay, that's my hint. Einstein brought me that shoe from the past. But when in the past? Okay. Yeah, that's peculiar. The water still hasn't come to a boil. Okay, I get it, I get it. I gotta use the radiator. Okay. There's the whistle! 
Surely the water's boiling by now. Okay, okay. Candy. Candy looks older than I am. Hey, uh, mind if I use your binoculars for a sec? Go ahead, dear. Ah. Man, these are powerful. I could see Biff going into the video store. Yeah, you wouldn't believe the filth that boy watches. Yeah, he's nothing but an out of control hedonist, just like his father. If there's a clue to find a doc out there, I'm not seeing it. I don't even know where to start looking. Hmm. Uh, Miss Strickland? Jack! Diane! I know what you're doing behind that tree! Yes? What's with all these newspapers? This is my personal archive. I've got every issue of the Hill Valley Telegraph ever published. Get out. Every single issue? From 1871 to the present. If it happened in Hill Valley, you'll find it in my stacks. Why do you need all these newspapers? Isn't that the library's job? Libraries? Eh. Have you seen the smut they keep in their magazine racks? Do you remember when you lost your shoe? Shoe? That shoe over there. Oh, that shoe! Yeah. Hi, what a nosy Nelly! No one likes a busybody, you know. But... Oh, fine, let me think about it. Uh... Yes, I, I remember. I, I lost it in a scuffle with a, a dog. Oh, when was it? Oh, yes. The day that speakeasy burned down. A speakeasy? In Hill Valley? Don't act so surprised, young man. Your generation doesn't hold a copyright on moral depravity, you know. <laughs> Sin has been on the prowl in Hill Valley since the day it was founded. Wow, a speakeasy. That must have been wild. Is it true they used to drink gin out of slippers like my grandma said? Don't romanticize the past, young man. <laughs> Prohibition was a time when gangsters ruled the town while honest citizens quaked in their beds. So where was it? That speakeasy that burned down, I mean. That was ages ago. If you're looking for bootleg hooch. No, I I'm just curious, that's all. I'm a, a student of history. Student of history? My Aunt Fanny! Yeah, your generation of hooligans and slackers could give two right things about history. Miss Strickland? Oh, video store! Huh? A speakeasy used to be hidden in plain sight down there in the town square, right where that disgusting videotape rental store squats today. So the video store building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned down. The following year, as I recall. Doing some stargazing? No, I set my sights on the lower things. Is that? Jim Tannen! Get away from that hubcap before I call your father! Okay. Don't let me keep you from your business. Somebody senile, crazy, something. Okay, radiator. There's the whistle. Surely the water's boiling by now. Okay, now I have a hunch to go from. Let's look at these newspapers. Firm announces plans for Lone Pine Mall, Peabody Ranch to be rezoned for commercial development. Alright, Einstein brought me this shoe. 
And Miss Strickland lost the shoe on the day the speakeasy burned down. But when did the speakeasy burn down? I at least need to know the year. Alright, let's keep searching. Clint Eastwood plunges to death on runaway train. I don't even know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. Okay, let's use the binoculars again. Hey, uh, mind if I use your binoculars for a sec? Go ahead, dear. There we go. 1932. Rebuilt in February 1932. So the fire must have happened before then. But when? I need a date. Don't look at me. I'm far too old for you. Ha <laughs> ha. Excuse me, Miss Strickland. I guess somewhere in these stacks there must be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Naturally. Yeah, I probably wrote it myself. I was quite a reporter back in the day. Any idea what date that article came out? Well, obviously the day after the speakeasy burned down. Duh. So the video store building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned down. The following year, as I recall. Don't let me keep you from your business. Okay, so. Huh. Well, let me think here. Got them point and click adventure games. That won't do anything. Nope. Okay. Think, 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 think. Okay, so. Well, let's see if that's enough to go by. We know a rough year. There's the whistle! Surely the water's boiling by now. Well, it should be boiling by now. Realistically, I mean. Okay. Let's see. Ground broken on site of former speakeasy. Singer vanishes. Hill Valley Expo delights crowd. Soup kitchen exposed. Here we go. Speakeasy arsonist slain. Legal procedure gave way to old fashioned vengeance last night when a mob descended on the Hill Valley Police Station. The suspect in the Speakeasy arson case, a drifter known as Carl Sagan, was pulled from his. Carl Sagan? It's Doc! Killed by a mob. What's the date? June 14th, 1931. Jeez, I gotta rescue him. Uh -oh. My newspapers! Sorry, Miss Strickland. Uh, let me. No! You've gotten my history out of order. Oh, do you know how long it'll take to fix what you've done? Oh, get out! Get out! Get out! Okay. <laughs> 